Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. North Korea is suspected to be sending thousands of tunneling troops to Russia to open a new underground front on the border with Ukraine. It comes after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un pledged his support to the Russian leader after Vladimir Putin visited Pyongyang in June. North Korea's state media announced that the two countries would provide the other with immediate military assistance if it were to be invaded. According to The Telegraph, North Korea will send a large number of engineering and construction groups to help rebuild Russian-occupied cities on the border. North Korea is already a major weapons supplier to Moscow, which is facing depleted weapons stocks and a defense industry hampered by Western sanctions. However, Kiev suspects that military engineers being sent by Kim Jong-un not for restoration work in the Donbass region, as stated, but for a more sinister purpose. According to one report, Yer Chechirinda, a major in the armed forces of Ukraine said it was dangerous because a so-called underground war could begin. He said, there is information that five engineering brigades could be deployed here from North Korea. During the Korean War, tunnel, underground warfare was very actively used. The defense forces need to take into account that the DPRK troops have experience breaking through to the enemy's rear using underground tunnels, in order to exclude such operations in Ukraine. United Ukraine analyst Alexei Kush said Russia had already used tunnels twice in the conflict, in Avdiivka and Toritsk. Kush said was illogical that they would be working on restoring towns while the war is in full swing. He said, judging by various sources, approximately five engineering brigades of the North Korean army may arrive in Donbass region. If so, this could be 15,000 men, or more sent to the front lines. Kush also warned of a Vladimir Putin bid to break the war deadlock by digging tunnels in summer and autumn. He said, the Russian breakthrough near Avdiivka and Toritsk occurred, among other things, as a result of the use of underground tunnels. In Avdiivka, a tunnel already existed, while in Toritsk it was dug almost two miles long. This was a new technology of war, to protect against attacks from drones and artillery undermining, going to the rear, seizing positions, digging in. In Avdiivka, Russian commander Anton Zima Morozov led troops on all fours down a one and a quarter mile concrete pipe which the Russians had spent months clearing. They got behind Ukrainian positions during one of the bloodiest and closely fought battles of the war. Kush said Pyongyang had developed its own theory of underground warfare based on its operations in the Korean War. He said, who can dig better than the Koreans? These have been developed amid paranoia over a Western attack with nuclear weapons. In eastern Ukraine underground tactics can be used for a creeping offensive and breaking through complex, layered defenses, and to minimize losses from drone and artillery strikes. I would not be surprised if the underground war strategy was approved during Putin's visit to the DPRK. Perhaps it was suggested by the North Koreans themselves. Ukraine needs to technically prepare for such risks. The Ukrainian government has yet to make a comment. Putin, 71 was greeted in North Korea with an extravagant welcome ceremony as part of the Russian leader's first visit to the rogue state in 24 years. The pair rolled through the streets of Pyongyang in a Mercedes limo as cheering crowds waved flowers and held up giant portraits of the Russian president. After the lavish welcome, the pair then rode to the Kamsusan Palace for talks. The tyrant twins have struck up a chilling friendship in recent years with Putin's visit sending the bromance into overdrive. Fascinating footage shows Putin stepping into the driving seat of the Oris as Kim, 40, jumps into the passenger seat. The car is surrounded by a huge number of security, but when the doors close the pair are surprisingly left alone in the motor. The feared twosome then went on a chilled ride around the lavish grounds of a guest house in the North Korean capital of Pyongyang with next to no protection with them. By Katie Davis Deep beneath the ground Hamas terrorists lurk in a mysterious 311-mile maze of tunnels riddled with deadly TR.